As we conclude James chapter 3, there's a very powerful paragraph that I'll try to break in half, uh, just so it's not so boring that I'll be reading this on the screen the whole time. But uh, James is going to wrap up this chapter by assuming that we want the wisdom that comes from above. And so he says, who's wise and understanding among you? This is in verse 13 and following. Who's wise and understanding among you by his good conduct? Let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. There's our key for the way that this paragraph is going to unfold. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Now, we've got to point out right there that this is a cultural uh, phenomenon, that we are supposed to be boastful. We are supposed to elevate ourselves in all things. James is warning us against this. He says, this is not the wisdom that comes down from above. If this is really the wisdom we crave, this isn't the way to get it. He says, instead, it's earthly, it's unspiritual, and it's demonic. We're quick to point out the, the evils that are coming in to us or against us. And we say, well, that's because we wrestle not against principalities or power. I mean, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and and those sorts of things. And so we say the demonic stuff is all out there. But James is saying if we engage in this boastful conceit, we are emphasizing a wisdom that is demonic, which is a very uh, scary warning that we should heed. He pick, continues in verse 16, for where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder in every vile practice. I think we can uh, conclude that our society, our culture, is very disordered. And so he says the wisdom from above is something entirely different. Let's see how attractive this list sounds. Let's see how culturally popular this list is. He says, instead, that wisdom that's from above is pure, then peaceable, gentle. Now, please hear this. Open to reason full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in by peace by those who make peace. Our world for centuries has been crying for peace. Our, 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 our singer-songwriters for decades has been singing about all the avenues to peace. And yet James is saying that the way to get to peace is through a wisdom that is from above that will present itself as peaceful and gentle and reasonable. We need the Spirit of God in us to engage in this kind of wisdom because it does not come naturally. What comes naturally causes disorder. Let that word be an encouragement to you today. God bless you.